Thank you very much for the invitation. As uh, Steffi was saying, uh, we want to spread the word about Romania and what is happening here. As you know, Romania has been historically known as an outsourcing destination with uh, lots of good developers, but also with some success stories, which you might know. Bitdefender, which is one of the top security companies in the world, or LiveRail, which got acquired uh, a few years ago by Facebook. Uh, arguably one of the biggest Eastern European success stories. And now we want to present uh, what is happening in Romania and we brought some of the most promising local startups here. Yeah, so um, we are organizing Techsylvania, which is one of the biggest events in Eastern Europe. We, we would like to call it as the leading tech event in Eastern Europe. It has four days, two days connected and we're wearable hackathon and today's is a conference. This year is going to be between the 21st and the 24th of May. So if you have time to come, we will be more than happy to have you there. Uh, what we want to do with Sexylvania is inspire and connect the ecosystems to Eastern Europe. The thing is we have a lot of potential. We have a lot of developers. We have a lot of people working in IT that have amazing ideas. We are just a little bit far away to the uh, Europe and it's just a little bit hard to connect them to other people that can inspire them and help them. And this is what we're trying to do to tech, with Techsylvania. So just have the amazing people that are there connected to other amazing people and have beautiful startups coming out of it. So without further ado, let us introduce the five uh, startups that are here with us. Uh, first up on stage is Daniel Tamash, the CEO and founder of uh, Jelix and Idea Studios. Please. Hey guys, thank you for coming. Good morning. I'm going to be pretty short. Uh, we started out in 2007 with Idea Studios, and um, we, are, we are an online games publisher for kids. Right now, we sum around 70 million uniques per year. Um, that number has grown 10 times in the last four years. And uh, we also have our own development studio and we work basically for ourselves. We kind of see a future in Cluj not being just an outsourcing destination, but actually a product destination, something we can grow and, and, and have success with. Um, two years ago, we also founded uh, Transylgamia, which is our mobile game studios, uh, studio, and uh, we're focusing on, on uh, releasing quality mobile games, but as of today, it's harder and harder to get it up and running, so that's a challenge we have at the moment. And Jalix is uh, the company I'm, I'm running, it handles the marketing for all the two. Uh, we, we handle the advertising, and we also try to figure out ways of uh, monetizing our current users, given their kids, uh, and, and also uh, allowing them to have a pretty good experience on our, on our properties. Um, Besides this, I'm also doing um, business development for Cloud Hero. Cloud Hero is a um, cloud management uh, service, but uh, we can, uh, given that we're uh, exactly the right number of people to connect afterwards at the schnapps I brought. By the way, this is the best thing I've learned all these years, bringing schnapps to conferences. Uh, and th this is I'm, I'm best at. And uh, I can tell you more about uh, everything we do. It's uh, my first time here, uh, surely not the last. And uh, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to meet any, uh, all of you. So thank you. Thank you. Next on the stage will be Dan Burzo, which is the co-founder in mockups. And he will tell you more about his startup. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for having me here. My name is Dan Burzo, and I'm a co-founder at Mockups. Mockups is an online design app that helps you create wireframes, sketches, and prototypes. It makes it easy for you to get the idea you have in your head and get it onto the screen, whether it's a website, it's an app, a diagram, or really anything that can be described visually. Initially, I was trying to pull a stunt and draw the DLD conference websites in three minutes, but I'm a bit uncomfortable with public speaking and probably it's bad PR to die on stage. So I'm just going to talk about the product and the business behind it. So the idea with mockups is to get the power and the performance of native apps and combine that with the advantages of the web. So collaboration is enabled, uh, 
you can work together at the same time, you can share your work, you can provide feedback, and you can have conversations around the design. It's also about the accessibility, being able to access the app and the work from any browser. And on the engineering side, that means we have a single code base that can potentially run on many platforms. In fact, the same app you see now on your laptop when you access app.mockups.com, we're very close to bringing it to mobile devices such as tablets and phones and even Internet Explorer in the, in the future. So um, let's see. Uh, we just launched version number two, which is a complete rewrite of the app. We spent one and a half years doing that. Sounds like a bad idea to start from scratch, but it has helped us build the foundation for um, bringing all the new features we have envisioned for it based on our evolved understanding of our clients' needs. It is my belief that software is eating the world, and furthermore, that the web is eating software. Um, on the business side, we're completely bootstrapped. We've only made a small investment just to cover the running costs. As such, we've been profitable from uh, the first month of uh, launching our premium offering in 2013. Since then, half a million users have signed up for the product. We have 11,000 paying customers on an ongoing basis. It's used in hundreds of universities across the world to, uh, for courses in human-computer interaction. Um, the business is doubling each year, and that makes us very excited about it, and I hope I've made you curious. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dan, for your presentation. Next on stage will be Iris Vision, Bogdan Gromezescu, which is the co-founder, will give you more details about the startup. Bogdan, please. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Gumerzescu Bogdan, and I am co-founder of Iris Vision. And Iris can do amazing things, like automatically understand the images and audio from videos, giving possibility to implement truly contextual advertising. It's a win-win situation for both ad servers and video platform, or video ad platform, because actually a tag associated to a specific video is the key to delivering right ads. Our, uh, <laughs> our product is an Apicol and SDK with multi plan. And uh, in three years, we get, get the done with great things. Uh, our team has uh, 15 years' experience in the computer vision and uh, machine learning uh, engines. From fashion to interactive outdoors and uh, <laughs> From fashion and e-commerce to interactive outdoor advertising and security systems, the, the platform has limited uh, verticals and potentials. Exactly, your platform does, so we can better understand. So I have a video. Yes, I have a video and have possibility to understand the okay. images and to extract not only the essence, but extract the, the uh, if in a video it has a tree or uh, another thing like this, uh, a glass, or, mm -hmm. it's possible to, to know the, this kind of object. Okay, so for example, if I have a video with four dogs, four different brands yes, uh, yes, of dogs yes. playing, and one ball, your software identifies exactly what brand yes, of yes, dogs there are in the image and also the ball, right? Yes, it's possible to understand not only that, but actually understand not only the image, but the audio from the videos okay. and extract the essence. So okay. combine this, mm -hmm. it's a great thing. Because this is the key to delivering uh, uh, right ads. Mm -hmm. And what are your plans for the future with this app? In the future, uh, I, have, uh, you, I actually uh, build uh, the SDK model and uh, the API model, and uh, now to ex uh, expand uh, uh, this API with uh, another level. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much for taking the time and explaining. <laughs>
So I would like to welcome on stage Robert Visser, which is the CTO of Skin Vision. Morning. So everybody says that Romania is dangerous, right? They cannot drive there. As of yesterday, I noticed that in Munich, it's pretty dangerous to walk on the street. I literally got hit by a car, went to the hospital. Fortunately, that's actually the hospital that we work together with, LMU. But anyway, Romania is safe, Munich, I'm not so sure. <laughs> in Germany alone, 16 million people will be treated with skin cancer during their lifetime. Only 5% of them are actually monitored by the health system. So that means actually a lot of you here in the, in the room will be treated by skin cancer. We have a trusted app that gives you an online assessment and make you aware of potential danger for melanoma skin care on your body. Just adding doctors to a system will not make any change uh, in, in monitoring people or being aware. Our app actually does. It has three important steps. It has the online assessment in which we will tell you a spot on your skin, a lesion, a mole, if it's dangerous or not. This is as accurate as it can be. We have a gallery. The gallery lets you track those lesions that you made a picture of over time. And most of all, if you feel uncomfortable, we let you reach out to the professionals, to the health system. Our online assessment was scientifically uh, approved uh, and tested, actually with the LMU, uh, one of the biggest and best dermatologist to, uh, uh, clinics in the world. And their conclusion was that this online assessment is as good as the eye of an average dermatologist. This is pretty amazing. We are very excited about that. Our app is the first and only global skin cancer app that is certified and is being used by more than 400,000 people. Our online assessment is based on a database of more than 1 million suspected moles. And it's growing, it's growing fast. Every day we are doing 10,000s of assessments of moles of people all around the world. The last part that we made is actually an online platform to connect clinics to the people, to the users in the app. This is very exciting and it is also very good for patients to bridge the gap to clinics. Most of us, we are reluctant to go to a doctor. I actually hate doctors. So, so. But this app makes that gap smaller. It's also easier. You don't have to go to a clinic every time, wait for hours to be helped, uh, pay insane amounts of money, fill in a lot of paperwork but it can let you online track a mole with a doctor. A doctor has a simple function on his um, desktop and he can look what is happening with your mole and talk to you. That's minutes, not hours, minutes, so that's very efficient. We would really like to talk to, to the businesses, the corporates, clinics, um, and see how we can help you uh, track your employees or your users. We are open for business. My name is Robert Fischer, CTO, Skin Vision. Thank you very much, Robert, for the presentation. Last but not least, Kalim Brandabur, who is the CEO of Steam 3 d He will gonna tell you more about it. Thank you. Thank you. It's a real honor for me to be here and um, present you my baby on this amazing conference. Um, I'm the CEO and founder and the producer of the first Delta-based 3D printer in Romania. It's not only a 3D printer, but it's also a CNC machine and a laser etcher. Now, I can t start by telling you the benefits of 3D printing, but I'm pretty sure you are, are well aware of, uh, about them. Um, 3D printing can be used in medical um, industry to print casts, just like my colleagues has one here, without any pain or without any, uh, you know, going to the doctor, need to go to the doctor. Obviously, you can generate, uh, you can create, based on uh, human scans, human organ scans, you can create 3D anatomical models as well. So what I try to do is not just create another 3D printer, because the 3D printers are 
quite a lot on the market right, there, right now. I try to add some of my ideas, even though I have no engineering background, I'm only having software background, so I try to learn and see exactly what does it mean to actually build a 3D printer from scratch. And as I said, not just a 3D printer. Zeman said in a study that 3D printing in general will be four times faster and two times cheaper in, in about four years. They're wrong. We are there right now. We actually managed to improve the speed by up to uh, five times. Whatever is on the market right now is actually cheaper. We had the chance to test our skills against MakerBot, which is the lead market leader um, on, on, on right now. And it's a funny story. In Budapest, we met them, and they actually had to stop their machine in order for me not to be able to showcase, hey, look how fast they are printing, and look how awesome we are printing. We are actually printing four times faster than they are printing. This machine costs 8,000 euros. We are costing 1,500. 1500 euros. The machine is extremely modular. Um, you can pretty much change every tool head on it with a simple flick of a, of a hand. Everything is magnetic and um, it's available in unlimited colors. Like you can pretty much customize it as much as you can. Other than that, uh, the business model is very simple. We are trying to manufacture the, the, the printer in Europe, mainly in Romania, with suppliers from all over Romania. We try to keep the vendors close to us because we try to keep a, a close control on quality. I'm not building just another 3D printer. I'm building an awesome 3D printer, and you can do so much more with it with, if, if it's quality. Um, other than that, I can say more, we are just winning awards after awards. We are moving, uh, we bootstrapped the company. I actually invested the 50,000 euros in it. Um, we bootstrapped the company and right now we are in the process of, process of moving into a 9 million euros research facility, which research material condensation, metal condensation. We are not stopping here, we are improving the product, we are adding more products to the line and we are hopefully, uh, we will be the first metal 3D printer for the desktop soon enough. We are raising money right now. We are in the process of raising one, one and a half million euros for 20% 20 uh, 20 stake. And hopefully we can find a partner here. Thank you very much. A little part of the innovation that's happening in Romania right now, and we hope you'll decide to join us and uh, see more of it, including in Transylvania. And just a few teasers, uh, Transylvania has been chosen the best region to visit in 2016 by Lonely Planet. Um, we have uh, one of the coolest underground places in the world, which is a salt mine just next to Cluj. And uh, Cluj Napoca has been also chosen by Huffington Post as one of the art cities of the future. So we hope that we'll get excited. So besides the reason that Vlad also uh, told you, we have unlimited LT potential, which I think most of you are interested in. We have amazing landscape. I'm not talking about the cuisine. You can taste it in the back afterwards. And the one thing you need to, to remember is that Romania wants to be on the map, will be on the map of technology. It's just a matter of time. Thank you very much for taking your time. Please enjoy the goodies that we have brought from home. And uh, the startups that are here are willing to answer any kind of questions you might have. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm.